Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today at Watercolors with Jaylene. If you have not liked and subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, if you could go ahead and do that now and get that out of the way, I would really appreciate it. So today's project is going to be a sailboat. I figure with the summer months upon us, what better project than a sailboat? So we'll start off by going over the materials list of everything that I'm using today. And we do have the watercolor paper. I also have a small jar of clean water for my brushes. I have my 24 pan Windsor and Newton paint set. And this paint set I actually had bought with the intentions of going to the beach or the park and it's easy to take along. You can see it closes up nicely. It does have a couple of um, uh, trays in here to mix colors in. Well, I like it so much that I do use it quite often at home also. It's just easy to take from the dining room table to the kitchen table and back and forth. I do also still use my large pan with my uh, Windsor & Newton tube paints in it, but this is just a little bit easier. So anyway, that's enough about my paint set. Love them. And I have two brushes today. One is a number eight, the other is a number one. I have my Micron 01 nib waterproof marker. That's a necessity. And so let's get started with this. Okay, so for this, I did, before I started filming this, I did go ahead and lightly drew my sailboat and uh, so now I'll take my marker my micron marker and just kind of start filling things in I'm going to start with the mast of the sailboat and I do a few lines just to give it a little um, a little bit of girth because the mast is typically pretty large okay so then let's go ahead and just draw the sailboat itself and I'm not doing like real solid lines. I'm just kind of, it's almost like an outline, so to speak. And then of course we want that front of the sailboat. And then we do want to add in our little trim lines to give it just a little bit of character. And with the trim lines, you want it a little bit larger in the front than the back. That way it's showing a little bit of depth. And then also I kind of like to put in just a few little lines. Um, let's call them character lines, right? Okay, and then we want our stays. And for the stays, which are the the wires that secure the, the uh, mast on a sailboat. So there's a little bit of break in there, very, very light, uh, because if you're looking at a sailboat out in the water, you don't always see the stay lines 100%. You know, there could be a reflection off the water or what have you. So just a, just a hint to let that, just so that you can see that they're there, basically. Okay, so we're going to start with the sky. And for the sky, what we're going to do is wet the paper. And I kind of turned it a little bit here, so I hope you can see it all right. But we do want to make sure that the whole sky area is wet because we're going to add a couple of different shades of blue and we want them to all blend together nicely. So... We have that. Okay, so what we'll do with the, the sky is at the, towards the top, let's just start with, um, this is a cobalt blue color, okay? We can just kind of, you know, muck it around in here and doesn't have to be anything solid, no certain area. And then, um, so we have that towards the top. Now, we're going to go to a lighter, this is the uh, cerulean blue, okay? 
and we want this just on the horizon line okay and there again we don't want it on the bow at all and we can just kind of move this around we want to make sure that there's some kind of blue everywhere and uh, we're going to go through and blot this so I'll show you that in a minute okay so now that we have that everywhere what we can do is take our paper towel and just lightly go through and blot this and that's going to give the impression of clouds so we can keep it you know very very light and always remember as watercolor paints dry they do get lighter so just kind of keep that in mind as you're working on this you can make your your sky as light or dark as you want if you if you're going through and you're tapping it and you think oh that's too light well just take your brush and keep your brush very very wet um, add some more color back in and if you want to keep it like that that's fine or go ahead and just blot it a little bit you know and there you go so there's a few extra clouds there that weren't there before okay so while that is drying um, what we're going to do is with the number one brush let's take some of the Indian red and we want once again we want the brush very wet and what we're going to do is just kind of paint um, a reflection in the water here let me show you on this one see how there's a little bit of a reflection in the water so that's what we're going to paint in now and we want to start it's a little a little too much there so we're going to start um on either side and i'm using the indian red for this i don't know if i said that before but uh, we want to use the Indian red, which is the same color that we're going to use on the trim color of the of the sailboat. So we want to start a little bit in from the bow of the boat and just kind of, you know, lightly um, just kind of wash in a little bit of color here. And you don't want it solid for sure. And we kind of want to loosen this up a little bit. If you feel like you've gotten it too dark, you can always, you know, take some of the, take some water and, and just lift the paint off. But, so that's good. And so you want it a little bit wider. And then as it gets further away from the bow, a little, a little um, less wide. So now that this, well, and I'll tell you what, while we're working on the Indian red, Let's just do the um, trim colors, okay? Put, paint those in. And there again, it doesn't have to be precision. There's no precision. There's never precision with any kind of art. Well, maybe fine art, but not, not my art. Not Jaylene art. Okay, so we have the... the reflection in the water so now we want to go ahead and paint the water in and what we're going to do is take uh, just the cerulean blue which is the light blue again and just very very lightly um, have you know go ahead and paint it in just because we don't want any solid white for the most part we're going to be layering the the waves and there's going to be different um, hues and and colors of blue in the water so we don't want further back anyway we don't want solid white as it gets closer to the front it can definitely be lighter so we're going to give this just a minute to dry because we don't want this to blend like we did the sky we want this layered so let's just give this a minute to dry. 
Okay, so now that the light blue has dried, we are using our number one uh, brush. And for the, along the um, horizon line, we do want it to be a little bit darker. So we're using the, actually for this, I think we'll use a little bit of ultramarine blue and with a number one brush. And I just very lightly uh, go through, let me get a little bit more on my brush. Just kind of like hit or miss, you know, you don't want it solid, obviously, because we want to create the effect of waves. And so we want it, you know, just a little, um, kind of like rough seas, I guess, right? And because this is so far away, we want it darker. And then as it gets closer, it will be lighter. So we will be switching from, from the ultramarine blue um, to probably to the cerulean blue. And I do have uh, quite a bit of paint on my brush and I'm, I have my brush like tilted or slanted so that, so that I'm not, the paint isn't going straight on. You can see it's kind of, um, kind of, kind of a slant. There's a little too much. So you can kind of see how this is taking effect, right? Now here, I'm going to switch to the cerulean blue and just make it a little bit lighter. And doing the same thing, just tapping my paintbrush a little bit to, you know, create that effect of the waves, the white caps, and the water, you know, not a little bit of breeze on the water. So I, I have to consider myself pretty fortunate that I do live near the Gulf of Mexico, and we get to enjoy you know, watching the waves and the sailboats and speedboats and everything out on the water. It's very, very nice, especially this time of year. I think the water temperature is already up to like 83 degrees out there. So it's nice. The sunsets are absolutely beautiful. If you're ever on the Gulf Coast of Florida, you know, you definitely have to get out and enjoy the sunsets. Okay, so there we have, you can see the uh, reflection of the, the sailboat. And there's a few areas that you may want to, uh, just with a very, very little amount of color, more water on your brush, go through and kind of fill in a few areas. You know, if you feel that there's too much white, so it's really your own preference. Uh, stick with, if you're doing that, always stick with lighter because you can always go darker. You know, you don't want to get too much dark in there and think, oh shoot, you know, I didn't really want that much. And through the reflection, you do want to make sure that you put a little bit of the blue, you know, in, in amongst with the color of the reflection. So there you go just that easy and would that take us probably less than 10 minutes to do that entire painting it is small it's cute now as you have seen from previous posts of mine I like to create greeting cards and a lot of my original paintings I do put onto greeting cards so for instance with this one I would maybe use a blue background and then I would use the um, double-sided tape, you know, to tape this down and then put it onto a greeting card. So that's really cute. That would be a great Father's Day gift also. Great Father's Day card, not gift. Give him something more than that, but I think any dad would appreciate a hand-painted card from their, their, um, child and whether it's a friend or, 
you know anyone would appreciate it so once again that was it for today and I do appreciate you spending a couple minutes with me and once again if you have not subscribed and liked my channel if you could go ahead and do that now I will also have the all of the um, uh, everything that I used today in the description box so if you want to check that out it's it's down below in the description and there are links if you wanted to purchase it I do make a small commission off of it through Amazon I just want to put that disclaimer out there but um, it's a convenience I guess of clicking on it boom you can go ahead and purchase it there so thanks again and I look forward to you joining me for my next video have a great day